shake and bacon. Uh, I haven't really been doing much on the bus lately. I don't know, I've been feeling kind of unmotivated lately. Ever since Christmas, I feel like I've just been kind of burnt out, to be honest. I feel like I'm not the only one that feels that. Like the build up to Christmas and the holidays and all, it's, it's stressful for everyone in their own way. And I think in my way, doing all this building on the bus, I still need to name this thing, I'm telling you. I, I need to name this. It just, it still feels weird saying the bus. And you know what? I think it's perfectly normal to feel unmotivated sometimes when you're working on a project, you know I mean? You just, you work so hard on something, you, you know, you, you turn it out, you burn yourself out and you don't know it until it's too late. And now you're like, I just don't feel like doing it anymore. But I'll tell you like this though, like I've been watching uh, YouTube videos still about other people in their van life and building out their buses. It's motivation. It's definitely motivation. So I've still got the motivation that I wanna go ahead and finish this bus out and get it ready to travel in and do some things. My videos, if you haven't noticed, they are mm, probably like four weeks in advance. I guess you could say my last one was about Christmas and that was about a month ago that was all that energy I was excited about to build out my bus and I made a bunch of videos and I started uploading one at a time so what is this cat doing what are you, what are you doing Toby you see somebody you see something I haven't even really lived in it lately either. I've just been coming out here. I'll just come out here and like actually brainstorm. That's pretty much it. Just brainstorm on, on things to do. The two projects that I actually came up with while I was over on Christmas break, Christmas holiday. One is the, where the TV was. I don't like where it was. Just sitting on the countertop like that. I feel like it could be placed somewhere better. So. I thought of an idea here. The bars, the hanging bars up at the top, where you, you hold on to, those things are actually really, I mean, I probably said before in my other videos, but those things are actually really sturdy. They, they're really strong. But I thought of do-it-yourself odd plan idea where I can hang that TV from those bars and I'm gonna have it flip up and hook onto the bars when I'm not using it. I need to seriously put a bell on this cat. When it flips down, I have it to where it can swivel, to where I can either face it from the table or the couch or the bed. Speaking of, that's the other project that I was thinking about doing, a couch. Like I said in my Christmas night video, sitting at the table for long periods of time doesn't feel right. I thought, mm, a couch. So that's another project that we're going to, I'm going to be doing here soon. If I can get this motivation back up here. Like, does that, does that happen for anybody else? My inspirational part of me is most awake at night, if that makes sense. Hey, Toby. Hi, you. What's going on? Exactly where to go into the bus. Nice and warm in there, huh? But what I have been doing is just buying a bunch of stuff for the bus. It's like a whole nother Christmas right now. I'll let you know. Let's see. So let's see. I bought a fridge. That came in a little while, uh, probably a couple days ago. It's a fridge, one of those fridges that looks like a cooler. I mean, this it's pretty nice. Once we get it open, we got the diesel heater. So that's going to be interesting setting that up. Oh, 
what's the nice perk about living at a house while you're working on your bus? You can supply your own shore power. So during the little break I took from doing any building in the bus, I came up with a little, some ideas here and there for installing this TV mount. I was gonna put it, hang it like right here. The way I'm gonna have it is it can slide either to or front or back and it's going to flip down and it can swivel to face any direction. Oh yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I got a little bit of an idea on how I can secure the back door of my bus, the two double, the wheelchair ramp doors. So what I was thinking was, the door has like a little, a little hook on it. Yeah, that little uh, hook right there. So I was thinking to myself, I could use this to hook onto it. And then I have these two quick link, quick link chains. I'm gonna hook onto the hook and then I'm going to use this uh, hitch ring with plates. I'm going to secure this to the frame of the bed. So the bed is going to be what will hold that door closed. So if someone tries to un try to turn the knob and, un and pull it open, like they won't be able to. And then both doors will not be able to open because it's secured to the entire bed. Also, I bolted a bed to the floor. Just some added security or, you know, stability while the bus is moving. I was watching a YouTube video last night about this, uh... What in the hell? There's a guy over here. What? He just yells a lot. Damn, I thought this dude was just at my house just now. How yell, how loud this dude yelled. I have two two acres of property, but yeah, this dude sent, sounds like he's like right here. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. So anyways, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, between this cat doing what he's doing right now, this guy yelling, down the street right now, it getting dark and it's cold. My motivation is starting to starting to leave me again right now. I was watching this YouTube video. What? Last night and this guy was like, I'm a carpenter. I do all my blueprints and planning out in my head. I like to do it that way. Yeah, that that makes sense because that's what I do. I can draw things out, but it, it's, it's like it comes together a lot better in my head. So some things I've been doing, uh, let's see. So this little power strip here, like I said before, when the heater's plugged in, it, it just trips it. I guess there's too much power going into it. I just went back to Home Depot and got a much stronger power strip. This one has 5,400 joules. Can handle up to uh, 1,875 watts of continuous electrical duty. Duty. Oh yeah, I got a whole grab bag here probably can, I got here, yeah. Like, let's see, so I got biodegradable trash bags. Instead of getting that knock on your door, by security, law enforcement, whatever. It'll be much more, wouldn't it be much more pleasant to hear a doorbell instead of a hard knock on your glass doors? We're gonna install that. There you go. For the propane heater and maybe anything else. Cause you know, you don't wanna get burned up in your bus. I thought this was useful. I thought it was. I mean, I've seen so many YouTubers, van lifers, People living, there, living in their car. What am I hearing? What is that noise? Toby? Oh. Got some handles. Handles for my front door to 
I'm about to drill holes through the aluminum and attach these to that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can put a lock between these handle loops and that will lock the door from the outside. Uh, yeah, USB doesn't use that much power. And there is a lot of things that use USB power. So I went and got like an 11 port USB uh, power strip, I guess you can call it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I did not know these things come in such, you know, wild configurations. And it got power, power buttons for each port. Scott. Why is this so complicated? Oh, wow, that is a serious hook. 425 pounds, it says it has resistance. Now, this has, wow, this has 1,540 pounds resistance. So we're going straight like that. Turning anything here. Nope, you opened it. Tough nubbies. There we go. And I'm hoping this will be long enough too. So the bed frame will be here, and then I'm going to hook that to the door. Yeah, that's a good work. I think that'll work. When I say by hook, I mean this little piece here. I'm going to hook this onto this. And, oh, look at that. Nice. Look at that. So if someone tries to open this door, and they can't, because this is connected to my bed, then when I need this to open. Oh, that's sharp edges, too. Okay, that might. Hmm. I feel like we might need to revisit that. Where do we need to place this? Coming across an error that I did not plan out. With these links being this way, uh, the length of them, it's too long. So this door opens, you can easily open up the second door and then just completely open the door, unhooking this. So I took off one of these links See if we can make it shorter. It's still a little too long. And I don't want to hook this link onto the cowbell nose ring, whatever it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this, I don't know, somewhere like along here for compensation of the link. Problem is, I still need to have enough movability in here so I can unhook this the weird way that it does unhook between the bed and the door area. Is that the same hole I just drilled through? Oh, I got in reverse. Uh, I'm stripping that screw bad. I'm not sure if that's a placement I'm gonna put it to. Let's see if that works. So it'll open up to like that. The problem is the second door. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. So if they open this up, and they go, oh man, that's definitely not going to work. Oh no. I 
figured out how to lock the rear door, the wheelchair door. Here's the thing, I was trying to come up with an idea that is very simple, that involved as less modifications as possible, you could say, to make sure this door is like locked in a way. All right, so you all know those uh, chains on doors that you know people put on as a security measure for locking a door. That's what I got. So if y'all look closely at this, so here's the handle. This is the closed position. That's the open position. Now notice how when this is closed, this is like this in this position here. And when this is closed, this little latch here comes down and then it hooks into this little, this metal frame here. So when this is opening, there's a little piece here that's just like this that has to slide out this way. Like that. And then this little pole here goes up, which would then unlock from this little area here and you can, the door can come out. Here's what I thought of. I put the little, I don't even know what this is called, this little receiver latch thing, whatever. So this little chain here, take that out, put it in this little hole here, and I have it to where it just drops straight down. Drops straight down. And now it's in there. So now when this little thing opens here, this other side of the, like this, it stops it. And it does not slip at all. Like I thought I was gonna eventually just push this up, but it doesn't. It just stops it. And it's even nicer because this little edge piece, it actually hooks into, actually hooks into the little chain void area. It looks like right into that little area where the chain is. So you put that in there, just drop it straight down. And then this door, it can't open. Like it can't open fully. So then this little piece here cannot come up fully. And then this little piece here will not completely go in to open the door as well. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And I've tried this, I've tried scenarios too and trying to get this to open while this is here. It does not open at all. Like there's just no way. And because of gravity, it just stays there. It won't move at all upwards or anywhere. It's just look at it, every single time. And you can turn this handle as hard as you want too it will not open at all whatsoever i wanted this to where i can open it from inside in my bed and easily as well so i can just reach down so i can just reach down from the door from the inside pull actually i could pull up from the chain and just take it out and i could actually just drop it down as well if i'm lazy enough oh that still won't open Oh wow, that still won't open. So I, guess, so I guess even if I'm lazy, I still have to, still have to take it out and just put it up there to hook. And then that way, it opens straight up. Other thing is, I saw this idea and I thought this has to clear this area to open. So when it opens, it clears the entire latch area. I can't get any closer than that. But this thing here is like just flat enough where it clears this latch and it can open and close. And then it's not even scratching it either. It's like perfectly flat enough. And again, like when you want to lock it at night or when you walk away from the bus, you want to lock, make sure your doors are locked. Undo that. Drop it in a hole. Does not open whatsoever. 
plain and simple. And didn't have to do any kind of drilling modifications to the door really on the outside. I mean, that's just, you know, I mean, you see how simple that is, but I mean, really, you know, if someone really wants to get inside of your bus, I mean, let's, let's be real. I saw this one YouTube video of this guy. <laughs> he made this comment about locks and, and locking your bus. He said, let's be honest, locks really just keep out the honest thieves. It's true. I mean, if you really want to break in the bus, break in anything, really, even your car. You know, I mean, you lock your doors when you walk away, but yet you have these huge windows all over your car. If you really want to break in that car, just go through the window. I mean, he makes it simple. He makes it he makes it completely understandable. If you really want to break in something, you you just break the window. Just like with uh, my bus doors here. So, I mean, I'm going to put the handles on through the uh, door here, the aluminum. I was gonna put the handles on there and put a lock through the handles at the same time. Look at this. If you really wanna break in, I mean, there's a huge glass right here. You gotta be a little, you gotta be really skinny though to get through those windows. Plus, you got the driver's side window right there. I wonder how RVers do it. Technically, they have big windows too. I think I feel like I'm a little overthinking this. It's like really bright out here. Let me go inside. My glasses. Oh. Transitions. I don't know. I have the mindset that I'm like preparing for the worst. If that makes sense. Look at all these huge oversized windows. You have the wheelchair windows, this other back door, that's a bigger window right there. <laughs> you got the whole windshield too. Yeah. I don't know, that's just me. I like to think worst case scenario and, and prepare for the worst, you know what I mean? Anybody else that does that? You know, you like to prepare for the worst so you don't get, you know, surprised and shocked by when it happens.